Hello, this is Kate, and today I'm going to be doing a mini tarot tutorial on how to do a relationship reading. So this is using my relationship spread, and you would do this reading if you wanted um, some insight into a relationship. So it could be a romantic relationship, or it could just be a relationship with a friend or someone that you work with, but it works very well for um, a romantic relationship. So you would do this spread if you're maybe having some issues communicating uh, or you feel like you're not really on the same page. And the three cards on the left are going to represent you. And I'm going to be doing like a demonstration reading, so I'm going to be doing this on myself. So these are going to represent me. And then the three cards on the right are going to represent my partner. And the card in the middle is going to um, be sort of the advice card as to how we can come together and bring more understanding to our relationship and more harmony. So I'll start by turning all of my cards over at the same time. And these three cards are just gonna give me an idea of kind of what is going on for me in the relationship and um, kind of what my issues are. So I'll start with the top card because that's the one that kind of jumps out at me. And we've got Eight of Swords, which is all about feeling stuck feeling powerless and feeling almost blind to the situation. So here I am feeling like I can't do a lot to change things and I'm feeling um, kind of like my hands are tied, I'm feeling kind of powerless and maybe feeling um, kind of sorry for myself and just really um, generally kind of not all that good. Um, and the key to this card really is that you know, this feeling is brought upon by our own illusions and that we can change the way that we feel and the situation isn't really what it seems. So we might feel powerless, but really we're kind of choosing to feel that way or making ourselves powerless and uh, shifting from feeling powerless to feeling empowered is definitely all to do with us. We don't have to wait for someone else to free us and to do that for us. This all rests on this rests on my shoulders, so I, I can certainly find a way out of this feeling. Um, I'm not as powerless as this card would suggest. It's more my um, perspective. And then the Wheel of Fortune, to me I see this as um, my tendency to attach myself to um, the outcome of things, or attach myself to the outside of the wheel, so what's going on. So life is a series of ups and downs and cycles. And um, if you attach yourself to those things, you know, you're gonna go from feeling really happy when things are going good to feeling really miserable when things aren't working out. And the secret to feeling at ease all the time is to get to the center of that wheel where there isn't so much um, movement and um, change so that you can feel calm and at peace no matter what is going on around you, so you're not attaching yourself to the outer worldly things. And then the card of the sun is just a very optimistic card, so it's letting me know that I definitely have that, um, you know, have a strong ability to look on the bright side and to to be the um, the optimistic influence in my relationship and to definitely have um, hope that things are all going to work out. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn over the other three cards, which are going to represent my partner and what is going on for him. Okay, so right away, my attention was drawn to the Three of Swords. And to me, this means that, um, this card to me represents kind of heartbreak, and I see this as, as symbolizing the fact that he's very sensitive. And even though he doesn't seem like a sensitive person, words can hurt and uh, he might take things to heart and um, get really upset about certain things that to me might not seem like a big deal. So there's that issue that he could be feeling really crushed and really um, hurt and heartbroken right now. And I might not be entirely aware of that, especially since this figure is wearing um, a blindfold. I might not be aware of that. And then the Hierophant to me means um, structure and kind of knowing what to believe, 
knowing what to do and I think relationships are I mean most people don't have that sense of um, knowing exactly what to do or how to feel within a relationship and so I'm thinking this symbolizes kind of his desire for that um, having that kind of structure and stability and this might represent his frustration that within a relationship you know um, there isn't always those uh, clean-cut rules and um, guidance as to how to feel or how to act all the time and then this guy two of pentacles to me symbolizes that he's juggling two different things and he feels like he's very much um, kind of struggling to keep his head above water and he's you know very busy maybe very tired and kind of struggling to make two things work which would make sense so struggling and also struggling to find balance in his life so if I take a step back and look at these three cards, I see he has a desire for order and um, uh, maybe order and authority and also feeling like he belongs because I think the Hierophant uh, symbolizes, you know, uh, or maybe a religion or something like that. And I think there's a sense of belonging there and feeling like you're part of a group. And he might be searching for that sense of belonging um, and feeling important and like he belongs in this relationship and at the same time he's you know juggling two different things and he might be feeling a lot of emotional pain right now so the center card is the card which um, brings it all together okay so we've got death and death could have um, a couple of different meanings so if you go into this relationship reading wondering if you're going to break up or thinking that you know this relationship has really run its course um death could symbolize that you know the end has kind of come with this relationship but because i've gone into this reading um not with that perspective i'm quite happy in my relationship i'm just wanting to know how we can connect more and um kind of iron out our differences um, so if you go into it with that kind of mindset, I would um, interpret death as meaning um, a need to change, but a need to let the past go. So to start a new phase in your relationship and kind of let, um, let go of the past, let go of um, uh, anything that's happened in the past as a way of kind of moving forward into the future unhindered. So in other words, a fresh start. So as I look at this card, I want to kind of take a, a step back and see how it relates to all these cards in general. And because it's moving in this direction, I see it as moving forward with the relationship. So I take that to be um, a positive sign. But we could also ask, um, you know, how, how do my cards relate to death? How do his cards relate to death? What is it that we're wanting to let go of? What is it that we want to um, give up in order to make this relationship work? And then I also want to ask, okay, how does death um, relate to communication? How can we communicate better? Like, how does that card answer that question? Um, and other than just sort of letting the past go, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to draw another card just for clarity. And you can do that with this reading. You can draw up two, two extra cards for a little bit of um, extra clarity. And Four of Swords to me means retreat. It means um, meditation and kind of going within. So this could mean taking a vacation together and kind of getting away from your kind of usual everyday situations and taking time to go inside and kind of reflect on our own issues. So in other words, calling a truce. Um, so kind of taking time out from whatever kind of arguments or disputes you're having and um, getting past that to see um, if things change, if you get, you know, away from that situation, take a break if things um, kind of uh, change and even out. So I hope you found this reading helpful. My name is Kate, and thank you so much for joining.